Hi, it's um, early hours of 26th of February 2023 and um, this is just a quick message for the watchman um, to keep doing what you've been called to do um, even through your hard times and if you're feeling spiritually lazy or very weary um, keep working for the Lord and being about our Father's business. Um, and keep doing the work that you've been sent here to do, your current assignments. Um, return to your posts if you've, um, if you've fallen away for a bit. Um, I haven't been sharing much lately. Uh, just from weariness. Um, but I was in in Isaiah, actually I wasn't in Isaiah 62, but um, as I my eyes were drawn to read something else in Isaiah 62, which I may share later, um, I carried on to read uh, verse 6, which I'll read out here, and the um, Holy Spirit spoke to me through that, and so I am just returning to finish off a backlog of of things that I feel need to share in the coming weeks or days. So the full verse is, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day or night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. So that really spoke to me. Um, the watchmen on the walls never hold your peace day or nor night and keep not silence so we must keep uh, remain at our posts and sound the alarms and give out whatever messages that our father in heaven wants us to to give to to the remnant and to the body of christ and to the world at large so um i have to be obedient even though i don't feel like it And mm, don't really, <laughs> yeah. So another verse uh, that came to mind is Matthew 10 verse 27. What I tell you in the darkness, speak ye in the light, and what ye hear in the air, proclaim upon the housetops. And um, a word that I received, a uh, personal word back in, I think, May 2017 when I when I was first being awakened father gave me a personal word through the deliverance ministry that he led me to and this is just an excerpt from it and he said to me and this is for everyone as well when you fall I will pick you up as long as you let me Leviathan is the spirit that I am dealing with in man at this time Leviathan is the spirit that I am dealing with right now. Pride and self-seeking are Leviathan's two main characteristics. The only way to break this is to allow you to fall. I then watch to see if you will still serve me, even when it feels like I am not there for you. And if I just uh, add in here um, that... Um, I haven't felt like this, but um, Father has been um, encouraging me almost every day with um, signs and scriptures, and um, every day he, he is there for me. So uh, I, I know that he is here with me and for me through, through my trials. Sorry. Is it about you or is it about me? I am not punishing you by doing this. I am merely removing that which has no part of me. Removing the things that are contrary to me is painful, for that I am sorry. But in order to place you where you need to be in my kingdom, this is the walk you need to face. For many are called, but few are chosen. Matthew 22 verse 14 And um, back then, um, just about the removing the things that are contrary to me. Um, yeah, uh, I realised that this this includes people um, 
in large part of uh, my last several years during my awakening is, have, is having had um, pe being separated from certain people, um, either permanently or temporarily. Um, so there's different seasons of um, um, permanent cutting off or removing, cutting away, or just temporary seasons of separation as well. Um, each has its own purpose and reason. So um, all, all the watchmen and messengers... Um, uh, and prophets, anyone who's who's led to share messages and words, dreams and visions from Father on whatever platform you're called to. Um, uh, keep at work for the Father and be busy about our Father's business as we uh, see the day approaching. God bless you. Bye-bye.